I just went grocery shopping for the first time. <laughs> I didn't bring my glasses with me and I didn't clue in until I got to the grocery store and I had people giving me some like weird looks. Kind of like, what is wrong with your eyes? And I'm with my boyfriend and I get to the cash register and the lady asked me, kind of like aside from him, is everything okay? And I was like, why? <laughs> But I realized what she was asking me like all in the same time when I said why to her and I was like Oh, it's because of my eyes and she's like, no, no, I wasn't asking that uh, She's like I was just asking if you found all your groceries. Okay. I was like, oh So I don't know if I just like misunderstood that or I, whatever the situation was But I felt compelled to tell her that the reason my eyes are bloodshot red like this is because I just got laser eye surgery <laughs> I am on post-op day two. I've had no pain in my eyes whatsoever. It gets a little dry sometimes if I'm not keeping on top of my eye drops, which I mostly am. Been on the computer today, like off and on, catching up on email, school stuff, nothing for too, too long. I've honestly actually just been listening to a lot of audiobooks again recently because I'm trying to avoid screens. I'm actually listening to Harry Potter from book one audiobook. That's what I've been doing, lying in my bed for most of the day because I just don't want to do anything too crazy with my eyes. I didn't have to wear my black glasses today, these ones, these super cool glasses. The left eye remains to be the one that looks worse. You can almost see like a T, kind of like a cross in my eye. And then the right one, I don't, there's no particular pattern, but the blood vessels are blown. This is something I actually thought about from when I go back to work on Saturday on the 3rd. And because I'm doing nasal pharyngeal swabs at the COVID clinic for my patients, I'm going to be up close and personal to people. So people are just going to be staring at my eyes all day. It'll be a fun little sight and I'm sure I'll get lots of weird looks and lots of weird questions, but I mean, Everything's fine, I'm okay. <laughs> it's just laser eye surgery. I took a shower today. I washed my face like basically from here over. Didn't wanna get anything closer to my eyes. So I put like a little bit of face wash here and then I use a damp towel to like wipe everything down because I've really avoided getting water on my eyes. I just put the prednisone in my eyes and you'll see it's like a white liquid here. That is just the medication. It's not like discharged from my eye or anything. That'll go away. The liquid itself is milky. So every time I do put these eye drops in, it does get a little hazy for a moment and then it corrects itself again like after it settles. So this is the same thing I would say for my patients in the hospital as well. When you wipe your eyes after you have laser eye surgery, you want to look in the opposite direction of where you're wiping. The main reason is, is because your eye still has a fresh wound on it. Like it's still been freshly cut open. So even though it's healing, the cells still need to like fuse back together properly. So if I'm wiping, I was to look down towards my nose. The tissue corner is more closer to hit my eye where it's been cut open. I don't want it facing towards the corner. If I'm wiping the inner canthus of my eye here, this is called your inner canthus. You're gonna look away and just dab gently. You don't need to like poke your eye in. And then if you're gonna wipe the outer canthus of your eye, you're gonna look towards your nose and wipe there. You, so you just don't want the freshly wounded part of your eye facing towards any object that can go inside. And honestly, even tissue you wanna be careful with as well, that you're not gonna leave like any fibers or anything inside of your eye. So if you don't actually need to wipe your eyes away, I would avoid even doing that. But if you feel like you must, then I would do this. But honestly, I just kinda lay there for a minute or so, let them soak in and then go about my day. Um, I'm still getting that lovely taste from the eye drops as well. And then occasionally I get like a lovely mix of all three of them together going down my throat. It's super great. Other than that, I have no complaints. While I was doing groceries, when we left, it was getting darker, but there's still sunlight in the sky. The street lights were on and I was specifically looking to see if I was gonna get any halo or starburst kind of vision around the lights like I previously had. I was told that post-surgery, that is very much something that can happen for the first couple weeks or months even. I didn't notice anything too drastically different from when I normally had glasses on that corrected an anti-glare. When it got darker by the time we came out of the store, it was like pitch black dark. Just looking at the lights, there's a little bit of like a, starburst halo type vision that I'm getting around a light, but it's not anything nearly as bad as what my original eyesight would have been looking straight on to any of these lights prior in the nighttime. So I'm very happy with that. I was <laughs> looking around the entire store, looking at all the colors. I was looking at different signs. I was like, I can read this stuff. I'm really excited. Not paying attention to people are just staring at my eyes thinking like, are you okay? I'm okay. I'm good. I've got new eyes. Okay.
All right, just got called to come into work super last minute. Um, they're really short staff today. So I'm going in about four days earlier than I had anticipated, like for my actual shift on Saturday. It's Tuesday today. Blood vessels in my eyes are still bloodshot. So I'm hoping I don't get any crazy stares from patients today. I've just been wearing my regular sunglasses now because the other ones, I don't particularly need them anymore. And these ones look nicer. <laughs> so. I'm only gonna be at work for five hours today. I have all my eye drops with me in my pocket. On my way right now to my optometrist appointment, this is my one week post-op check. Still kind of sensitive to light a little bit. It's honestly not as bad as I had expected it to be, but it, there's still some light sensitivity and that's okay. I'm more than happy or fine to wear my sunglasses when I'm driving around. Okay. That appointment went very, very well. I think I talked her ear off. She said my eyes are healing nicely. Aside from that, like one little ripple that was in the top corner right where the flap is. But again, it's out of my sight of vision, so it's not a cause of concern at all. The redness in my eye, that's just gonna take some time to heal. There's no blood vessels at the surface of your eye. So it just is gonna take some time for the blood to like reabsorb back into your eye. Vision is really, really well. She said it's better than 2020, which we already knew that. I'm gonna come back for a one month follow-up. I am good to stop taking the prednisone and the antibiotic that I was taking but she recommends that I continue to use the artificial tears or like the lubricating eye drops and she did say that she could see a little bit of dryness in my eye I don't think I've put lubricating eye drops in for a little bit it's interesting to me though that she said that she could see the dryness I didn't I didn't know that was a thing in terms of my eye shields for sleeping with them I did not sleep with them on last night and that's the first night that I've done that and I felt fine this morning when I woke up. I did ask her if I should sit, continue to wear them and she said if you feel like you want to wear them just as a precautionary measure if you're not sure how you sleep or if you're worried that you'll rub your eyes while you're sleeping absolutely go ahead and wear them. It's not going to do any harm. I'm really 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 happy. I'm so so happy right now with the results of this. When I was doing the eye exam as well, when I was looking at the letters, I was reading some pretty, pretty tiny letters that were smaller than 2020 is what she told me. For this left eye here, I was seeing like a water reflection kind of, like if you have like a, I'll insert a picture here of what I'm talking about. She said that that's normal. It will go away hopefully with time. Again, that's why we come back in for the one month follow-up just to make sure that everything is healing properly and as it's supposed to. Because even though surgeries go according to plan, there's no way that you can tell how the body processes your healing. Light sensitivity, she said that's still normal. Again, obviously I just had a laser cut into my eye, so there's gonna be some sensitivity to light. She said the astigmatism is fixed. It's, it's gone, it, it doesn't exist anymore. And I have really great vision and I am so, 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 so freaking happy. I'm so happy. The only unfortunate thing that has happened is that I can't donate my contacts back at all. They're just garbage, which I feel really awful about. For one, because of COVID, I completely understand that. Then the second thing is that even had COVID not been happening, they wouldn't take a, a box from the case. It has to be the entire case itself. So that kind of does suck because it's wasteful. It is freaking freezing cold today. Yesterday, everyone was outside wearing t-shirts and shorts. Today, there's a little bit of snow. Don't know what's going on with Canada's bipolar weather here again, but you know, global warming, fun stuff. I just drove in the night for the first time for about a half an hour of a drive on the highway and then some side back roads and stuff. I don't like it. Holy freaking starburst, like coming from all of the lights, all the vehicles, the street lights, the, what are those things called? <laughs> traffic lights. <laughs> it hurt and I felt like my eyes were straining. It just seemed like if this was a regular light, everything was coming at me like this. And I don't like that. I'm going to try to not drive in the nighttime as much as possible, which I don't think is actually going to be an issue. Um, our third lockdown in our province was pending. It's officially been declared. We are in our third lockdown again. Here's a little update for my eyes for today. I did a little schoolwork this morning, fell back asleep, woke back up, caught up on some emails, updated my budget, and then I just turned my computer off again because just the glare is just kind of hurting my eyes. And I have noticed a few times that if I have to focus in on this and I like really, really focus in on one spot in particular, I can feel the strain on my eyes kind of like having to focus in on something. And I have noticed I have to, ugh, my eyes are really actually hurting from that drive. I really have to kind of like divert my, my vision away a little bit um, to like defocus on what I'm focusing on because it's almost like I'm focusing too hard. When I spoke to the optometrist yesterday, she said that my eyes are still inflamed. So it's just gonna take a little bit of time for me to get used to 
the vision of like the nearsightedness or the farsightedness. This is just day nine post-op. You can see the inflammation has gone significantly down since day one. However, the left eye still remains to be the worst looking eye with more most of the redness. And then finally, these are my eyes for day 14. I've officially had my new vision for about two weeks now. The redness in my eyes is almost gone compared to what it was two weeks ago. So it's actually taken less than the six weeks, which I think is amazing. I am so overly thrilled with the results that I have. I've just been putting my eye drops in when I feel like my eyes are too dry. But other than that, the healing process has been fantastic. I would recommend this surgery to anybody who would like any type of vision correction. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.